It's uh, August 14th, 2014. It's about noon. I'm out here walking on the, uh, yeah, what is that? Right here, Putney Mountain School Trail. Putney Central School Trail. Um, there's a Princess Pine Trail. That's where I went up. No, actually, I went up this way. I could have went up that way. I just came back this way. There's some caches up here. Uh, another cache owner put, I think, six up here a while ago. I got first to find all on all them. And then today, a multi-cache came out here. And I just got first to find on that, and I believe that's my first multi-cache first to find. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. This is the trail. I just looped around all over the place up here. I've been here half an hour since I found the cache. And if you want to go to the ocean, it's only 132.8 miles that way, which was that way. And that's probably as a crow flies, so if you drove it... No, actually, you know what? That's about right driving it. But anyway, be careful on this black dirt. It's very slippery. I fell on my ass on the way over. I'll show you over here. See, it's like that kind of mud there. It's really, really slippery. Beautiful out here, beautiful trails. They loop around all over, all over. I've never been on so many on a trail system without such an elevation change that has so many switchbacks and loop trails. You could walk four or five miles out there in a mile square area worth of trails and not cross back on the same trail again. And there's a school right there. See yeah, it through the trees. There's the mud I was talking about right there. You can see how. Whoa! I almost fell right there. You can see how it's the black, slippery stuff on top. So, right down here. I went to step around the water. Right there. Down I went hard, right on my ass and my hand. My hand went, arm went slamming into there. Hurt it a little bit. Grass path from the kiosk. See the kiosk over there. It can get very wet in here. As you can see, and then it goes over to there. And Sand Hill Road's down there, it cuts across. There's the school. Pretty nice trail system. So, anyway, back to the cache. So, um, my one, I didn't even get a first to find on the multi cache, my whole first year of caching. Right, and I get one today. And B Body, my brother, he got his first to find last night on a cache. So he got his first to find last night, and then today I get my first to find on a multi. Thanks to him too, because I didn't have emails sent to me for multis. He was the one that asked me if I was. Going he emailed me and said, "You going to get Brenda's?" And I was like, "Brenda's," and he said something about it earlier in an email. And he said, "Brenda's is close." I didn't pay any attention to it because I didn't have no emails for any new caches. And like 20 minutes later, he emails me again. He goes, you going to go after Brenda's? Right then it clicked on me like, what? I click on my map and I see this one up in Putney, Multi. And I was like, oh, man. Booked up here and got it. So a big shout out to, and a thank you to Brenda for hiding it. And B-Body for reminding me and telling me to go get it. Couldn't have done it without either one of you. Go right for you. Another first to find. I think that's 49 first to finds. 
this is the unnecessary pack and ride they're building here in Putney. Right where the fire department is. Look at this. It is totally unnecessary. They took out all these trees to build a pack and ride that nobody's even going to use. I think it's a waste anyway. Well, August 14th, 2014, 1.30 p.m. right now. I just got back from a first to find multi up in Putney. I get home, an email comes in. There's another new cache, like a quarter of a mile up from the multi, so I should have waited. But anyway, now there's three more on Daniel's, Hill, Daniel's Mountain on, off the golf roads. It just came out, three of them. That's what we're chasing now. These are hiking ones though, right up over the ridge. Gonna be a nat, uh, not an easy one. And then also there's one that says some of you cashers have wanted a harder hide. Well, here's one. And I think he's referring to me when I met him, Jerry, down at the uh, Berniston Cache, King Philip Cache. I was telling him that, that we need more hard ones in this area. But I meant like fours and fives. This is only a three. Okay, that's where I'm packing. Uh, the actual trail is right here on the left. And this is the actual packing. And I'm trying to see. I don't see remnants of any fresh tracks here. I don't think anyone's been here yet. But that's the little packing place that's for it. But there's rocks in there. So I just packed down there. Hey, this way. Here's the trail. Daniel's Mountain Trail. Three first defines. Here we go. And this trail goes up and up and up and up. The first one's point two, and the furthest one's only point five, point four something. So it's only gonna be like a mile trip. But the way it switchbacks, it's gonna be longer than that because this is a crow flies. But this is switchbacky, so the actual walk is longer. And the first one's gonna be the hard one, the difficult one. Well, I just passed the first one, the tricky one. I only looked for like not even two minutes. But I think I heard a vehicle stop down there. So I'm going to come up and get two and three and then come back. I don't know if someone else comes, I don't want to be searching for that one. And then, you know, go up here with them together for a co first to find or anything like that. So I'm going to get both first to finds on these and then go back down to that one. Oh, you know what? I think this is going to be first to find number 50. So maybe I should have done the hard one for that one. Huh. I know one thing. You go to Daniels Mountain or Davis Mountain, either one of them, you're going straight up, man. Whew. Okay, it's 2 o'clock, we've arrived at ground zero for uh, Daniel's Mountain Trail 2. And this is a two and a half, so he's making it kind of tricky. It's not his usual, typical Jerry Hyde, which is a two. No hints available. So, cords are a little off probably, so I'm just going for looking around for hiding spots first. Okay, I got it. Here's where I set my bag down. Not even five minutes. Right up here on the top of this. Now let's see if we got first to find. Nice keychain. I'll take that. There's the log book. 
And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, blank log it is, first to find. I'm going to take the car, so I'm going to leave a, a couple wristbands. i to get my pen, it's over here in my bag. Tell ya, no me eating stuff. Okay, we got it first to find. It's 5 p.m. I'm gonna leave a couple of wristbands. I'll pick the car. I don't know if I'll be able to get the wristbands out, but they're in there. I just put one in there. Yeah, I'll put two. Let someone try to get them out. Okay, let's head on to the next one and see if we can get another first to find here. Okay, we're here at ground zero at number three. It's 2.17 p.m. We arrived. Taking a quick look around here. I have a theory that this one might be hanging from a pine limb. Something a little different. See, I'm 60 feet out right now because I'm just checking hiding places first and then I'll scan the area closer to my ground zero. That's how I usually do it. The ground zero is around by these stumps, these hollow stumps. Probably where it is. See, there you've got it hidden in this. Birch. This ain't the tricky one. This is just a two and a half. Or oh, it's down here in these stumps. I'm sure it's right here in these stumps. Yeah, there it is, right behind here. I bet. Yep, there she be. I'll pick that back up. Oh yeah, there it is. 2:20 p.m. And the log is blank. So we got another first to find. Like I say, I think that was number this is number 51, I think. I got it written down at home anyway. Uh, you pooped? It's all back downhill from here. This is as high as we go. We gotta go find that tricky one now before someone else gets up here. Huh, you ready to go find it? You are? Oh, good. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to leave that first to find for somebody else. I couldn't find it. Look for it for over an hour and a half. I'm done. I don't know how you figure there's only a three. More like a five if you ask me. I couldn't find it. It's more than a three, that's for sure. Oops. More than seven, man. Anyway, that concludes. Ow, you fucker! Ow! Oh! Stub my second man. Oh, I know. Oh. Oh. oh, man. But anyway, like I say, this concludes it. We're headed out of Daniel's Mountain. We, uh,. Smell something over there. No, 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 I got it now. I'm sick of picking it up. I've got it, I told you. Alright, don't drop it again. Relax. Easy. There's somebody down here blowing the hell out of their horn. I don't know if it's people tooting going around that corner. I know people do. I used to even. But man, it seems like an awful lot of tooting going on. At first I thought it was someone down here tooting at me, like I'm going to come down to see him, you know.
Yeah, the car's tooting around the corner. That one just did. I didn't have my camera on fast enough so you could hear it. Oh, they just came around the corner tooting. That's what it is. People tooting around the corner. Tooting around the corner. People down tooting around the corner. People tooting around the corner. People tooting around the corner so they don't get hit. Here comes the car. They already tooted three times up top. <laughs> That's what they're doing, tooting around the corner. He tooted three times up there before I could get my camera on, then he tooted around this corner. See, it's a bad hill right there, and it's bad around this corner right here. So people toot around the corner. We got him. Took me about five minutes waiting for him. <laughs> well, Whee! Good girl, get washed off, huh? Cute little waterfall coming down. It's right at the trailhead, roads right there. We're done. This ends today's adventure. Here's the corner. <laughs> so where it's going down, but that's where they've been tooting. We were up there in the mountain. Listen to them toot around the corner, toot around the corner, toot around the corner, so they don't get. Well, I'm half tempted to book back up to Putney to get that other one that came out after I was up there, except I don't think I loaded it in my GPS like a dummy when I was home. I didn't load that new one up there in the forest. I don't think. You know what? I'm going to check. If I got it loaded, I'm headed for it. You know what? He should have tooted there for me. Tooted around that corner. Tooted around that corner. Tooted around that corner. Toot. Well, it's 420 right now. We're headed back up to Putney, where I got that multi this morning for that other one that came out after I got home. And Ringo, uh, B-Buddy just said that I texted him, someone has logged the multi that I found this morning, but not Henry's yet. But that means they're up there, so they're probably going to get, they're probably doing Henry's right now. So I doubt I'll get first to find on it. Well, it looks like we got a bad accident here at the intersection of River Road and Route 5 right in front of the co-op and right in front of Rod's Mobile. And when they hit here, they usually hit hard because uh, they're going right along here. It's a dangerous intersection. And of course, I could go around like everyone else is doing, but I got a rubber neck, right? Dump truck. I think they hit the side of that dump truck by the looks. Got oil on it. Gas leak. Caught the side of that dump truck. Gee, <laughs> one thing you don't want to hit. You don't want to hit something bigger than you are. It's usually going to hurt. Alright, little delay. Okay, we're here. Putney Central School, Bear Hill Loop number five. It's right here. 4, 45 p.m. Try to tell if it's been disturbed today or not. Oh, it doesn't look like it has. It's got to be, though. Someone was here getting Brenda's multicast. Someone had to get in this one, too. Oh. 
Loop trail number five. Whoever came up to get Brandy's must have did the same thing I did, left before the rest of them came out. Because I got first to find on it. Woohoo! We got it. I didn't think I was going on this one. Let me make sure. Yeah, we got it. First to find. Woohoo! Glad I came up now.